Hello, I would like to make a quick demonstration of how the bubbling and event capture occurs in the DOM. So basically what I've done is I created a little uh, HTML page uh, which basically has three divs, an outer div, an inner div, and the innermost div. Uh, I'm showing them in different colors so it is kind of easy to see uh, what they look like. And uh, let me also show you the code uh, that I have for this. It's pretty uh, straightforward and simple. So you see one div here, outer div, inner div, and the innermost div. And they all have just a pre-formatted text element. Uh, for the styling, uh, it just picks three different colors. And that's all it is. And in the app.js, uh, what I'm going to show you is a pretty straightforward. Uh, what I've done is uh, I've maintained a global uh, counter uh, for this page, uh, which is called index. And uh, what it does is it allows me to see which uh, call is being made first, second, and third. So it basically keeps incrementing. Uh, so on Windows uh, on load, I basically attach an event listener of click to uh, the outer div, the inner div, and the innermost div. So the call is essentially there and uh, this is the handler that's being called and uh, I supplied the last element to be true which basically uh, tells me that this is going to be an event capture and that's the whole point I'm trying to demonstrate here is as to how the event capture works. So let's go back to our page and see uh, what it is. I'm going to reload the page. Uh, I click in the innermost div and uh, what you would notice is that as I click in the outermost div, the first event that happens is that click event is seen by the outer div and the inner div and the innermost div. So you can kind of see it going down. And that's how the capturing happens from the outermost to the inner and the innermost. And uh, to give you another example, let's say if I click on the inner, it will show outer and then inner. And that's how the event capture works. It goes from outermost to the innermost. So let me just demonstrate the reverse case of bubbling, which is uh, more common. And all I, not, uh, all I need to do is to replace the true with the false. And that's what I'm going to do here. So now you can see that all of my uh, values uh, is set to false, which basically would allow me to demonstrate uh, bubbling. And I clear my page and reset my page again. Uh, I clear on my innermost and now what you would see is that the event gets seen by the innermost div first, then the inner div and the outer one. And as you can see, it is uh, done uh, in this fashion over here. So that's how it is. Uh, that's how the capture and the bubbling uh, works in the DOM. Hopefully uh, this uh, little example has given you a good foundation uh, to uh, understand uh, how the event bubbling and capture happens in the DOM. Thank you.